huge updates, parts coming in, dude. It's like Christmas, dude. Helicopter Early in the air. Helicopter. Look how seamless that looks along this brand new freshly painted quarter panel. But then we went ahead and jumped into the What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally tore apart the whole entire front end of this 2020 Cadillac CT5V just to see all the damages and to see if there's any hidden damages. There was a few here and there, but for the most part, looks pretty dang good up front. And as you can tell, all those parts right there are looking like a big old just pile. That's exactly what we went to the dealership with is a big old list of parts. And we ordered everything and we were kind of over budget. It was around 12 grand. But you know what? I think it's going to be well worth it, especially we got this thing for so cheap. So we went ahead and ordered all that stuff. That stuff is on the way and hopefully it'll be in maybe in a couple of days. So right now we don't have any parts. So what we're going to do is probably set this sucker aside. The only thing that we can do is probably take out the airbags on the inside there and also the seat belts and get them shipped off to get re built along with the SRS module. We'll probably do that a little bit later. What we're going to do right now is probably jump back onto the TRX. We got the wheels and the tires. We're going to start with that. We're going to probably get them mounted, go to the tire shop, maybe even slap them on the truck or should we just wait till we get it painted? Which we way should we go? It don't matter. I mean, it's whatever we're feeling because right now we're honestly waiting on the paint booth to be available, right? That is right. Yeah, I called uh, this morning. There's somebody in there. They're going to be in there for a couple of hours. He said he's going to let me know as soon as it's free. Then we'll go over there, paint that whole entire jam. That way we could throw that interior back together and the the whole side and all that good stuff but today's video may be a little bit different we're not going to just focus on this because it'd be like a short video if we just focus on yeah. this we're going to probably do an oh, entire update maybe go to the shop give you guys a little update there we got some stuff in the garage there a bunch of updates there just uh the camaro the camaro stuff we got a bunch of stuff going on i know we're all over the place but you know what we still want to bring you guys some content and get stuff done so i say we just go ahead head to the tire shop with our wheels and tires get those suckers mounted get back over here and get some work done <laughs> guys so after running around town here and there we finally made it to the new goon squad garage but before we update you guys on that look at these wheels and tires Dang. 37s dude looking dude. mighty fine look how massive they look compared to that 30 that's what i was saying so this is just the spare that we we're waiting on for the tj but dude those 37s with that all black wheel dude that looks good dude, man it's gonna look super sweet hopefully it'll fit underneath that trx without rubbing or anything but i guess we'll test fit it some other time because we don't have lug nuts can you <laughs> buy lug nuts uh, locally at i think a store? we can try like o'reilly's or some auto parts store to see if they have any lug nuts or something yeah we'll like look that. into that a little bit later i hear an airplane in the sky which will actually Speaking about uh, aircrafts in the sky, in the sky, we'll update you guys on the helicopter. We got some pretty epic news on that, so we'll we'll get to yeah, that, we'll a, little get to that a little bit later. But as for the shop, we have pops out here. He's actually throwing up erosion control silt fence because that's at this part of the process you are required by the city to actually throw that down anywhere where it slopes down or where there's that stream over there that runs behind us over there. Yeah, we have to throw all along that and all along that side right there. Pretty simple, or is it pretty difficult, pops? How you say is it difficult to do? Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit hard. Put in the uh, ground, you know, it's a, it's a glade on there, you know. Clay. Clay, you were digging with the excavator a little it's bit. A little bit dig, but uh, when you put in the uh, uh, mud on top a little bit, it's a six inch in the ground. Yeah, you know? so you got to put a little bit of that silt of a fence underneath the ground, six inches, and that's what he's doing. And he made it a long ways right there. But as you can tell, we're halfway done with the roof right there, and we just stopped right there because we're so busy. We're just trying to get th things done and we were just brainstorming and we actually came up with something. We might actually get somebody to come out here and finish this building up for us. We already contacted a few contractors. A few of them are super busy, but we got like a couple more leads and maybe they'll come out here and finish this up. 
If not, we'll come back out here ourselves and knock out the hardest part, that roof there, and then the rest, the walls should be pretty yeah, simple. Yeah, the walls are easy. The roof is just super difficult, time consuming, but you know what? If nobody comes out here, we're just gonna have to knock it out one week, That dude. is right, man. We'll throw it, throw an uppercut in there yes, or something sir. like that. But also, we ran by the paint store and we grabbed some paint for the TRX because the paint booth is finally available. So right now, we're gonna head back to the house, I guess, and prepare that TRX. It's and pretty much prepped. We just need to load it up on the trailer and make it inside the paint booth. guys so we made it here to the pyramid the paint booth with the trx dude we had to pull one car out that somebody just painted like an hour ago that had it baking so we went ahead and pulled it out and they already took that sucker home man a lot of people have been using this paint booth so we're lucky to actually get it in right now dude. that is right it's getting a little dark outside but you know what we're still moving along we got it taped up tarped up wax and grease all we got to do is just close the booth down tack cloth it and we'll be ready to paint i mean all we're doing is just painting this little quarter panel section kind of blending it in all the way around as you can tell we taped off this whole back section because we're going to clear that that and the fender and that little trim piece up front as well we're gonna just go ahead and spray that in and there's really not that much paint it's just gonna be a lot of clear coat that's, that's it. right yeah this yeah. whole entire side basically has to get clear coated and as well as those other pieces up yep. front but also we got somebody wanting to come in third shift dude Ooh, third shift gonna do a little all-nighter i think on like a big old like a uh, utility truck out there dude with big old boxes and gonna paint the whole thing so we're gonna try to move as quick as possible that way he can come in as early as possible and get all that knocked out i think we got a heater there with some fuel in it we'll like bake it and possibly even take this thing home tonight you yeah, know that's the goal if we could take this home that'd be awesome but if not we'll just park it like outside yeah. or something do what we got to do but you know what the exciting part is we're gonna have the sucker painted and we can throw it together in the morning yeah. right in the morning we can go ahead and throw the interior together throw the brand new rear glass that way we can finish up that whole entire interior you know get this get this cat i mean this truck is gonna be done just without the bed dude we can just put like some kind of like uh uh, ebay glow tail sticks. lights glow <laughs> sticks, dude. hey you get those trailer lights the magnetic ones that you can buy at like the parts store put those suckers on here and you can drive this thing dude <laughs> we'll figure that stuff out later i know we'll definitely figure out our bed situation yeah but right now most important thing is to get this thing painted yeah dude. so we're gonna go ahead and close the booth down tack cloth everything get our paint poured up and start spraying this thing in
guys, so it is the next day here, and last night we ended up painting this whole entire jam along with the fenders, and we were able to bring this sucker all the way home, and this paint job turned out really good, dude. Dude, and I know what it is. It's the fact that you use your different spray yes, gun, right? the Welcome gun, that carbon fiber gun right there actually did an amazing job. We usually were, we started using that cheaper 3M gun, but you know what? That Welcome just lays down the clear coat way better than any other gun out there, dude. Yeah, that 3M gun is really nice for like doing like small jobs, I guess, and we've painted full cars with it too, yeah. I think so, but it does all right, but the way it atomizes the clear whenever you're spraying with that gun is just perfect. It's like a perfect mist and you can just, I mean, just look at the clear coat right here. It is just like flawless, dude. dude. And on the truck as well, this brand new quarter panel, which Ooh. man, it looks like nothing ever even happened, dude. Dude, that's a nice speedy repair right there. And now this right here is basically gonna allow us to throw together that whole entire interior because yep. I think the best thing would be to hold off on the doors, yeah, right? Yeah, hold off on the doors. You want to probably throw the rear glass, the brand new rear glass first, and then throw all the interior back in, just piece everything back together. And then we'll be able to throw like the doors on, the fender, and then like the hood back on Ooh. here, the other headlight, basically just start assembling this whole entire truck. Yes, sir. Dude. And also this piece right here, let's take a look at it. Dude, look how smooth that is. And that's just two coats of clear because I didn't film that last coat or the, the I only filmed one coat because yeah. I ran to get some dominoes. We were starving, man. Chicken we, we had to eat, man. <laughs> a, a pizza, a taco pizza. What a taco. That? It's called taco pizza, I think. Man, that was delicious, dude. I couldn't even believe it. Mind right blown. There. Mind blown, that dude. Was insane. <laughs> but anyways, we got this stuff painted, looking mighty fine. Everything is just amazing. We'll probably use the plastic gun for just paint. Yeah. And the welcome for clear coat. Yeah, we'll probably we'll figure it out. Or I might just start using the welcome for both because it just again. does a really good job. Yeah, for sure. it might even be better for like metallic paint. You it know what I mean? It could be very true, dude. But right now, what do you say? Right now, I say we'll go ahead, uh, probably go ahead, drop this thing off of the trailer, throw in our rear glass, and start throwing together this interior. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We are moving right along with this Ram TRX build. First thing we did was slap on this brand new rear glass right there. It was super simple to do. All we had to do was just add some glue and there was four clips that just popped right into place. We didn't have to line anything up and look how seamless that looks along this brand new freshly painted quarter panel. But then we went ahead and jumped into the interior and got that sucker slapped together as well. And this is where that $100,000 price tag comes from for these TRX. What would you say? Dude, dude that, the dude. interior is definitely probably the best Ram has to offer dude i think it's just it just looks sporty and aggressive dude look at what you get over here you get leather you get alicantara you get some red stripes right there you get some red stitching you get floor mats you get like Car some carbon, carbon fiber, fiber dude you get do you get everything a little bit of everything but you know what mainly up front is where that shebang comes from yes sir which we'll just quickly show you guys that right there look at that screen dude that screen that center console the glove box everything of course we still got to slap on that airbag once we get done with that brand new uh steering, steering column. column yeah because that one's just makeshift he got like a, a self tapper in there and that's it. Yeah, we'll take care of that later, but that's pretty much it. Also, we slapped on the doors and the door gaps are just probably better than OEM, dude. We got them just like perfectly I think flawless. they look better than the other side over there, dude. That's I mean, it I'm just saying, lines dude. up perfectly, dude. All the way around, the doors open and close, uh, no problem at all. And we even slapped on this fender right here just to see the paint match. I gotta say, that's perfect right there. This door right here definitely needs to get washed off. There's probably like baking grease on it and everything. We definitely need to clean Tree that up. <laughs> and we'll just, yeah, there's 
there's definitely some tree sap on there. I think it'll match up perfect. And we even slapped on this headlight. Look at that, dude. That looks aggressive right there. Dang, oh my dude, goodness, works dude. Perfectly, dude. This right here is definitely a beast right here. But look at this. It looks aggressive with the front end torn apart. Imagine when we throw in that hood, that grill, that bumper, dude. This thing is gonna look epic, which that's probably gonna be in the next one, I think so, yeah, right? Dude, for sure. We're gonna start piecing up that hood because I believe we're gonna have to use everything original, like all the vents yep. and stuff, which that's gonna be epic, dude. But you know what we need to do right now, like we mentioned before, is the we, wheels. The wheels, dude. But we do gotta find some lug nuts. So I say we go ahead, hop into the Raptor, run to a few stores, hopefully find what we need, and hopefully test out these brand new wheels on this TRX. some lug nuts and we threw these wheels and tires onto the TRX and that just looks absolutely like aggressive dude the way they stick out perfectly just a little bit over the fender flares and dude just the setup right now with 37s on a on 1500 basically dude that's that's like something you run on diesels man might as well just pop these toe mirrors dude, out dude that looks super sick we might have to run it just like that actually don't ever close that right there yeah, look at that, that right, dude. dude it does rub just a little bit whenever we're turning but you know what we did mention some leveling kit pucks on this thing we'll just even it out i mean it is kind of leaning forward you can't really tell with the bed so we're gonna level this thing out it's gonna help with turning and it's gonna look way better i mean this is just this truck is just turning into an absolute unit dude yeah even though it's like completely halfway torn apart you know what it still looks good but once we get all that stuff on there it's gonna be absolutely dude, out of this world we, dude we got the hood we got the grill we got a bunch of front end pieces and stuff like that stuff is coming in from the uh, dealerships and stuff like that so we got some good news and we got a call from the chevy dealership that a bunch of our cadillac parts are coming in which, dude, this is just good news all the way around because parts just excites us now, dude. That's right, because we have been waiting on parts for all sorts yep. of stuff, which right now is a good time to update you guys on everything. Yep. But first off, we threw on the spare on this Jeep, and what do you say, dude? That's just what this Jeep needs to look like. They come from factory like that, but now once you lift it, you put the original wheel and tire that, that you have on here all together with the tire carrier, just looks like you're ready to go up a mountain, dude. Dude, it does look so much better right there. So that's a quick update on all that stuff right there. And also another huge update we found somebody to work on the shop today yes sir so it's crazy they came by today looked at it and we're like we're starting right now and we're like go ahead but when are they going to finish they're gonna finish in like on sunday dude which is in like a couple days dude that's, that's crazy insane. dude for a great amount as well i think it's under 10 grand yeah, dude. under ten thousand dollars well we did kind of the hard part dude so you know hey we saved done. forty thousand dollars though because originally it was 50. yep we saved forty thousand dollars which is just dude those guys are about to put in work i think pops is already out there helping him out lift some stuff so dude this is awesome news we got some awesome stuff going on parts coming in and update right now right now we're going to update you guys on both of these builds right here first of all the r22 helicopter right here that we bought about a year ago and uh i mean we took this thing apart ready to put this thing together ordered the whole entire overhaul kit which we got it in boxes throughout the whole entire shop you might be able to see them in the background but you know what we made the executive decision because i mean we don't really have the space because once we put this thing completely together you can't take it apart and store it in your garage you're gonna have to be in, a, in an in airport hangar. or in a hangar dude that's so. right so the executive decision that we made was to actually get G or tj helicopters out in Sevierville where we purchased this yep. thing to completely overhaul and put it together right? put it together do whatever they got to do to get us up in the air because i mean that's just going to be the best way to do it and once this thing is ready we're going to go up there we may even record some of the progress when one this thing's going together and dude we're gonna be flying dude that's just just mind-blowing that's insane so the money that we saved from building the shop is gonna get put into this yes sir and we're gonna have some professionals take care of that you right you got there, that dude. right while we focus on our all of our other builds like this 67 camaro that's been sitting here waiting on parts as well but you know what we got some good news as well we got the whole entire standalone wiring harness with the ecu like 
computer to just throw it on here and start this thing up. But you know what? We're still waiting on fuel lines, fuel pumps and stuff like that. Headers, because we did mention once we pull this motor out, we want to have everything on there, slap it back in. And once this thing cranks, it's it's that's it, man. That's Game it. over. Dude. And also we're waiting on some wheels, which have been in the works for a couple of weeks, but that stuff is right around the corner. Right dude. around the corner. I mean, this thing is a beaut. The blue, the, the red calipers, Willwoods, and the, look at the Goon Squad valve covers on there. Dude, that is just Dude, awesome, that is so dude. epic, man. We don't even know what we have on our hands right here. So that stuff is on the works. Honestly, I don't even know what we're going to title this video because we kind of did a lot of different stuff. Hey, we got the TRX basically a completely like interior. So who knows? Updates, huge updates, parts coming in, dude. It's like Christmas, dude. Helicopter Early. in the air. Helicopter going to be in the air soon. This is just awesome, dude. I'm excited, dude. I hope you guys are excited because that is going to be crazy. But that's going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all the updates that we gave you. And also, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.